Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 3. We're now gonna do Kenji's next mission. Shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. To be truly strong, it is important that you never show weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. Okay then, you got yourself a deal, man. Okay, we need to go and collect briefcases containing money from different businesses. You First one's been collected. Oh, that was a very narrow gap I went through. Okay, there's heat around. This guy was packing heat. Briefcase collected. Why did I get out of the car when I could have just drove into that marker? I can't pay you, and I wouldn't pay you if I could. Some young gang just tracked up the place. They took everything. You guys are useless. What kind of Yakuza are you anyway? And what kind of chef are you? Your apron looks all weird. Punish the gang responsible and retrieve the protection money. And as we saw earlier, the gang responsible are the Diablos. Because uh, that guy standing in the last uh, briefcase was a Diablo member. Box me in. That's not very nice. There's two big people just box me in. Fast, fast, duty, yeah. I feel like my uh, banshee is gonna get stolen if I park it here. Park it over here. Can I sneak up on these guys or are they just gonna turn around and see me? Oh, okay, they see me, they see me. And now they're all running away. Won't even hit them. Stand there and take your punishment like a man. It's gonna be your funeral. But no, it's gonna be your funeral because you're the one who's dead. So I don't know how you said that. The guy's dead, and he's just like, yeah, it's gonna be your funeral.
her hair. And Kenji's. Kenji's Casino. Okay, that's another mission done. Now we only need to do one more mission for Kenji, and uh, that's the mission Smackdown. Do 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 do. Smackdown. You. How fitting you should choose this moment to sow your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushers line Liberty Street selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. Those cartel pigs are laughing at us. At me, I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well-founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers of our enemy's blood! Whoa, okay, you have some pent-up aggression inside you. Okay, we need to murder at least eight Yardy dealers. Then we gotta do it quick before they go off the streets. Once they push this bank, they're off the street. Get out of the way. Oh god, I'm running over all these people next to the police. I like the way that every time you kill one, another one goes on the street. Magic. This is gonna kill me, I'm driving into four stones to kill one. And the Colombians are shooting at me as well, okay. I'm gonna go up uh, south to kill the rest of them. What a strange place for a Yardy to stand in the doorway of the dojo. Okay. That one was a bit weird. Get out of the road. Okay, so we got a $5,000 bonus for killing some extra Yardies. They're all off the street now. 
Okay, the only missions we got now are race missions, so let's go and do those. Silence the sneak. That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in which that property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Torch that place. That's it. Flush your mark and you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. Okay, so the guy we need to kill is actually uh, Leon McCaffrey, who's a, a he's sort of a main character in GTA Liberty City Stories, which is like the pre-sequel of this game. Um, but in this game, we need to kill him. However, um, this finding a bus like this one will actually help us in the mission, so I'm going to take this. Hopefully a nice guy gets off of it and not... Oh no, not the construction workers, those guys fight back, okay. Gonna get out of here. So I'm gonna park this over the entrance. Oh god. Okay, the bus may have been destroyed, but hopefully it's still a barricade later on. No, the bus disappeared. Right, I'm gonna have to get another vehicle. A fire truck is normally a good vehicle to use during this, so I'm gonna go to the fire station. There we go, we'll use this fire truck. Fire truck is the vehicle I would normally use during this. Everyone wants to kill me! There we go. Yeah. Yeah! Fire! Fire is good! And the guy in the garage is dead. Okay, I'm gonna save the game because the next mission can get you killed very fast, so, uh... There we go. Now let's go and do Ray's next mission. Work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could see me. Arm 
shortage. Hey, Jay, over here! An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup, and in return, they'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, good luck. And the guy we're helping is actually Phil Cassidy, who makes a lot of appearances in different GTA games. He appears in this game, in this mission, Vice City, uh, in my Vice City one, for we haven't met him yet, but we will be doing that during the Malibu uh, Club set Hi missions. Because if you've been watching my Vice City you. missions, we've been buying a set. Hi when we buy the Malibu Club, we'll be doing missions with him. Um, San Andreas, he doesn't appear. Liberty City Stories, he appears during one of Toshiko's missions. And in Vice City Stories, he's a big character. He's the biggest character in Vice City Stories. Uh, where he's in the service alongside Vin. But in this game, he's not known as Phil Cassidy, he's just known as Phil the One-Armed Bandit. Uh, this is also Phil's first appearance, uh, well, technically last appearance, because this game takes place after all the other ones. Well, not in order of when they came out, this game came out first, but in the timeline. The Vice City Stories takes place in 1984, Vice City takes place in 1986, um, Liberty City Story takes place in 1998, and this takes place in 2001. So technically, this is Phil's last appearance, but first appearance in the in the order of when uh, the games came out. Now we can actually move this vehicle to block in the other the other ones. I'm trying to move it, but I can't get it to go into place. I need to use this to push it. Okay, this thing is heavier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm gonna block the gates with this car. Uh, I think the truck actually unlocks after the cutscene with Phil, so we'll do the cutscene first. Great phone ahead, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. Fine with me, crazy one-armed Phil man. This is unlocked now, so we can drive this. I'm gonna block off this alleyway. You want the chain? Okay, I'm out of ammo, so the last car I'm gonna have to do it on. Oh. oh, shotgun, shotgun! How the hell do you not die? And everyone's dead. The only people who aren't dead are the one who I've actually blocked behind this truck. You big tough Yankee boy. You move big man. You big tough Yankee boy. Okay, I'm gonna run around here and deal with them this way. It's no problem to kill you. You move, big man. It's no problem to kill you. You want the chainsaw, gringo? It's no problem to kill you. You gonna be sorry.
There we go. Now, all we need to do is check on Phil. Uh, at this point, if you can't get to the guns that are stashed up top, uh, at this point you can actually move the truck and get them yourself. Also, I think this truck is actually bulletproof, so I think you can use this to your advantage. After the mission, you can actually keep this truck. Okay, yeah, doing that actually changes the inside. What the hell? Hello? Okay, for some reason the bodies go up when I hit the replay button. Get back down there. That's creepy. I'm pretty sure that there's a way to get up here. I would talk to Phil first, but I think the only way to um, get the weapons is before you talk to Phil, because after Phil disappears, and you uh, like lose the chance to talk to him. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll use the cartel cruiser. Good thing I didn't blow this one up. Jump on this. Jump on this. There we go. Rocket launchers are quite rare, so it's good to get that. Ow, how the hell did I get really hurt? Okay, for some reason I lose a lot of health when I jump between those two. What aren't Phil? I'm back. Hey, if I've teamed up with you in Nicaragua, maybe I still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the locker. Leave the cash under the bench. Get out of here. I'll handle the cops. Okay, you have to pay money to buy those ones. But uh, you should have a lot of money. You should have a lot of money to spend on those things. Well, anyway guys, I think that this video has gone on long enough. We got some good stuff in this video done. But for now, I'll see you next time for more GTA 3. See you again next time.